Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Blake here and I'm back with a new YouTube video and this one is gonna help you set up and become a Twitch streamer if you are a musician. So as you might know if you follow me for a while, at the end of last year, I became affiliated on Twitch, which means when I do my streams, there's kind of bits of adverts, people can subscribe to me, they can donate what's called bits, which are donations on the page. And basically I can make money from streaming on Twitch. It's been a long time getting there. It took a lot of consistency. I had to learn a lot and kind of had to not give in as well and keep going with it. And I wanted to make a few videos to go over all the basics around Twitch, how you can set up a kind of standard, quite basic streaming setup for your streams and also kind of the ins and outs of some of the software you use because I've had a lot of musicians talk to me and they don't really understand Twitch but they want to get involved with it and they want to know what the big deal is and how you do that. So I wanted to go into how you start out as a musician on Twitch and how you can build that up to hopefully get affiliated make some money from it and kind of enjoy getting into the streaming, building your community and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to ask me any questions about Twitch and you want to see a Twitch live stream, then come and check me out at Blake Baker Music on the platform. The link is below and I go live every week and I kind of stream live music and feel free to ask more or come and request some songs and say hi in the chat. So there's so much to cover when you're trying to get into music streaming that I'm going to kind of separate it into a few different videos so I cover hopefully everything you need to get started out. So in this first one I'm going to go over what Twitch is, some common misconceptions about it. I'm going to go over setting up Twitch, how you interact with a community, how you kind of develop your page to make it look quite professional, like you know what you're doing, some little things you can do to kind of draw people in, keep them engaged, and how to link it to your social media channels, talking about your streaming schedule and all that sort of stuff. And then in the second and third videos, I'm gonna talk about a basic streaming setup, how you can use that on your computer to go live on Twitch, how you can kind of change that based on what you wanna do in the stream, say you wanna do different things rather than just live music, you could do different interactive things. And I'm also gonna talk about the software you use, some elements of it and how to develop it for anyone starting out on the platform. And finally, feel free to leave me any comments and questions here or on the following videos in the comments below. And then maybe I'll make a fourth video too where I'll do like a Q&A and go through everything that can help you start out and build your Twitch community. So let's start at the beginning. I'm sure you've heard of it if you're watching this video, but a little overview on what Twitch is. It's a live streaming platform. It's very interactive. People often know it for kind of game streaming, but you can really stream most different things in there. So there's different channels, people streaming, just kind of talking with their audience, people streaming gaming, people streaming various kind of interactive elements, and also people streaming music. And actually music streaming is a really big part of the platform. And one thing I really like about Twitch as a viewer is there's so many content creators. And what this means is you can filter down the kind of videos you want to watch and people you want to see live streaming based on the genre of thing they are streaming. So you can specifically look for music. If you're watching this video, you're probably into or create music. So you can look for music content specifically, which helps you to be picked out when you are streaming yourself. So at this point, you might have a good question, which is why live stream on Twitch? You can live stream on all the social media platforms. There's lots of different websites out there what let you do a kind of similar thing. There's a few kind of real reasons for me. So one of the reasons is the social media ones obviously are kind of often a lower barrier. If you're on TikTok or something, you just click a button and you're live. Being on Twitch offers a few benefits. One is it's very interactive. You can do lots of different things with your community and it's really up to you. You can push that kind of interaction as far as you want. So not only is there things like inbuilt song request websites, which I'll kind of show you how to use, but there's also lots of different ways for your chat to get involved. Also, people on things like TikTok can, of course, send you donations, but on Twitch, they can subscribe to you, so they constantly pay you every month. And in kind of return, you obviously give them your content, but you also give them your own emotes that you can use. You give them various benefits in the chat that maybe they can do, which other people can't do. That's when you get a bit more established as a streamer. But basically, it comes down for me as um, it's more interactive. But when you compare it to the other live streaming websites out there, Twitch is very, very big. There's lots of creators. The downside of that, obviously, is you all share the kind of uh, audience that are on there. 
but there's a lot of good things about it actually. One is it's very well established, so getting to the point where you are affiliated and making money is a very well established route. Lots of people have already done it and they've become partners, which is the higher level, they get lots of money from it. And as well as that, naturally the audience is bigger. So it is being shared, but because it's such a well established platform, probably hundreds of thousands, millions of people are on Twitch watching live channels. So it's very likely you will get discovered by people because there's so many people using the platforms. The other thing I haven't mentioned, and I'll come more onto this later, is there's lots of music creators, as an example, on Twitch, and they're actually very, very supportive of smaller creators, new creators. They're really happy to pass their audiences on to you, big you up, give you a shout out in their chat. And that's very different to some other platforms, especially things like social media, where people might share you, but they're not really, there's not really a culture of doing that. You know, in Twitch, it's very much the culture is you kind of help build each other up and it's seen as we all help each other rather than kind of your success being just for you and not for others. So in a moment, we're gonna get into the Twitch platform and how everything works, but I wanted to quickly go over a few misconceptions. So I've spoken to many different artists about kind of live streaming on Twitch and why I think it's a great thing to do. And there's been a few misconceptions that people have that have maybe put them off. So I just wanna address them here. The first one is that Twitch is kind of entirely for gaming. Now don't get me wrong, gaming is massive on Twitch. It's probably the biggest kind of genre of content that's made. But having said that, music is actually pretty big too. Some of the big streamers out there will have hundreds of people watching them each stream they do. And considering each of these people might pay a few pounds a month to see them, not all of them obviously, but some of them might. There's donations, there's various ways that they kind of contribute to this person's music. They might follow their links and go to their Spotify and all that sort of stuff. It represents a really big way of building your artist profile. Some of the big streamers have tens of thousands of followers and while they won't check in at every stream, it's very likely they might get alerted when you go live and that sort of thing. So it's definitely a very reasonable thing to do as a musician and there's a very kind of quite big audience there to target. So don't be put off by thinking it's entirely a gaming based audience. And I guess that another angle on that is, if they are fans of gaming, people can be sort of fans of both and actually you can target a brand new demographic by performing on Twitch that wouldn't find your, let's say, YouTube videos because they're searching for things about gaming. They're not searching for music. But yet, if they're on the platform, there's a chance they'll discover you, especially if you keep consistently uploading, making good videos, varying your content, all that sort of stuff. So the second misconception I want to talk about is age. I've spoken to so many musicians who are maybe in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever, and they have this idea that Twitch streaming is only for the young, especially like teenagers, early 20s. That's so not true. There's a massive diversity of people on there that stream. I agree that there's a little bit of a technological barrier in that you've got to have a computer and kind of a basic setup to get going, but it's not as intense as you think it is and you can make your stream kind of as developed or as simple as you like. If you want to just do acoustic and just play without too many things on the screen, that's fine, you can do that. Mine's quite simple, to be honest. If you want to make it really developed, go through a DAW and all that sort of stuff, you can do that, you can have mixing, you can have kind of loop pedals. People do all that stuff as well. It's really up to you. You don't let the kind of idea that there's a young audience or there's a big technological barrier stop you because it's really not the case. Also, in terms of the music that's on there, it's so varied. There's soul, there's funk, there's R&B, there's pop, there's bossa nova, whatever you make, you can kind of share it and there'll probably be a live streaming audience for it. And finally, the last thing I'm gonna say before we get into it is, please take it from me, you've got to be resilient. Some people can reach affiliate in a couple of months, some people reach it in a couple of years. It took me about a year and a half and I had a break in the middle, and to be honest, there were some streams where I was streaming to nobody or one or two people, and it felt very kind of draining. And now I've come out the other side of it, and every stream I've got people in the chat, and they're chatting to me and they're requesting songs. I don't have hundreds of people, but I've got a dedicated little community and it honestly just takes time and consistency. You've just got to keep going for it. Okay, so the first thing is obviously making your profile. I'm not going to go through this. It's very simple. It's like any other website. It's free to make. Just choose your username. Generally, I'd say if you wanted to, I'd put music in your username. That's maybe my opinion, but I think people know you're a music streamer. A big thing about Twitch is building a community where you're chatting to other musicians that stream. And if you have kind of music in your name, they know instantly you're a music streamer. And it's quite a nice way of, if people 
you know, are enjoying chatting to you and you're in the comments and they're enjoying you being in the stream, they'll often give you a shout out because they're like, oh, I don't recognize your name, you're a music streamer. And just that little interaction alone, for me anyway, is worth it. You can obviously name yourself whatever you want. If you've got a very specific brand name you're going for based on your social media, so be it. But just a tip from me, if you wanted to, you could put music or musician or something in your name and in doing so, you might get a couple of shout outs. So it's a kind of nice way to sort of get started into it. So once you've got your account, it's time to customize your channel. So to edit your channel, there'll be a little banner on your channel which says customize it and you click this little edit button or you can go here on create a dashboard and once you're in there that is the point where you can edit basically everything related to your channel so everything that kind of makes it stand out now obviously at the start your bio and all your links and everything will be completely blank so write a bio which is quite snappy kind of tells you apart a little bit you don't want to just say musician you want to say specifically what kind of music do you make when do you stream have you got an idea for what days you want to stream if you don't that's okay you can kind of work it out as you go on and work out how busy different days are and there are some tools on the platform that help you kind of predict this but make sure you come up with a bio which helps people know what you're about and the sort of stuff you're gonna be streaming so here's mine for example so I say hello I'm Blake I'm a soulful acoustic singer-songwriter and I'm a musician from the UK I stream every week which is usually on Thursdays and Saturdays or Sundays but any changes are either on my discord come say hello or on my social media where I'm at Blake Baker music the song list is on, see you in the chat. So the song list obviously I'll go through later on but it's a way for people to request songs while you're live. It's like an interactive website, they can go on it, click request and a song will automatically get put on the kind of stream while I'm playing for me to play next. And you can kind of edit this as desired so you can make it so only your followers can suggest or anyone can suggest or they've got to give you donations to suggest songs, that sort of thing. So once you've got your bio, you need to put your links in. Now it's up to you how many social links to share. I've completely put all five in because I think if people really are into me, then it's quite good to link those audiences. I also think a big thing, if you are on it, is to make community on Discord. The reason I say this is social media is great. I'm sure that everyone uses it, but it's quite limited in terms of who it shows your posts to. So if you're putting posts out saying, I'm going live on Twitch, it's very likely, unless you've got a big audience, most people aren't going to see that. So if you don't use Discord, it's kind of an interactive WhatsApp-like software. It's basically built in, you can have it on either phone or computer, and it's basically, you can set up various different chat rooms, you can send videos, pictures, whatever you want. And it's quite a nice way of you interacting with your community as you build it, because you can ask them for song requests, you can ask them anything about their day, how's it going, you can kind of give them updates from your musical life or your non-musical life. You can kind of, as I said, put in when you're going to be streaming so they know that and it helps them sort of get involved with your everyday life, which is what the kind of audience want and it's why people like live streaming because the music is live, they want to be part of the event, not just the music you're making. So next up we're going to click on this little brand button and we're talking about your branding of your channel on Twitch. Now of course you don't need branding on Twitch to go live, you can have a kind of empty blank thing with just your bio let's say and your social links and none of this sorted out yet and you can go live anyway. But it's quite a nice way to add a lot of character and make your channel look more professional really. So within your brand you can do a few different things, first of all pick your profile picture, obviously if you've got one you can see mine here is my artist logo, if you've got a logo or an artist picture of you that you like you can use that. Then we're going to your accent colour, so this is just kind of like what will be kind of some of the background colours and text and stuff in your sort of profile, but you can edit this as desired. And you then go onto your banners, so you'll see at the very top of your channel, you can have a banner which says kind of your name and something about you, it could have a picture of you, it could have kind of a cartoon, a lot of people have that. It could have information about when you're streaming, it could have at and your names on social media, whatever you want, something to give you character for who you are and how to get access to you and when you stream and all that sort of stuff. So quite importantly, as part of this same kind of branding is your panels. So if you click on about in your profile, you'll see it brings up basically a square with a plus. If you click on this, you can then make different panels and each one is a little bit of information about you. You can include links in them, you can include kind of links to your social media, you can include kind of rules about being in your chat just so that people aren't kind of abusive or that sort of thing. 
you can include different things in them. I'm going to go over what mine include in a second, but you'll see these designs that I have, and these are kind of matching the same sort of design that I've got for the banner, so that everything looks like it's all linked together. So you can see at the bottom to mine, I've got an interactive panel that says Design By, and it's the name of the person who designed my channel panels and banner, and it's actually someone I hired from Fiverr. Now you don't have to do this, you can make your own panels if you're very good with kind of designing, if you're good on Photoshop, that sort of thing. You could design it for yourself if you've got an idea for what you want. It wasn't too expensive for me and there are various kind of people on Fiverr who offer these kind of services. So I could link it all together and make it look quite professional. So the other thing you can do, and this is maybe a bit cheaper and rather than having a bespoke one made, you can go on Owned, so that's O-W-N-3-D and basically they make Twitch resources. So you've got to pay a little bit for them, but you can buy a banner, panels, all that sort of thing. Once you've got the pictures, to edit them, you simply click on this little slider for edit panels, and you'll see that it changes them. So once you've added one, you can change what the panel title is. If you've got this little banner at the top and it says a title in it, you don't have to add a panel title, because it's kind of included in the picture. And then you can give descriptions and say what you want to say in the text. If you want to put links into these descriptions, you do so like this. So you can see I've said where my Discord is. I've put in square brackets Discord, so that will mean it will just say the word Discord and that will be a hyperlink. And then in the brackets following, I've put the actual link to my Discord channel. So people will just click on the word Discord and if I show you that when it's saved, which is like this, you can see it's just a purple Discord. You click on that and it will take you to my Discord channel. So that's how you put links in. So then you might ask, okay, so I've got the pictures, I've put my banner set up, I've got all the pictures, but what should I ask for on the pictures, say? What, what should I kind of want? Well, here are my examples, and you can check a few other Twitch streamers out and see what they've written. I think this is a good kind of standard place to start. So I generally always do an about me. This is a bit like your bio, but you can kind of elaborate a bit more. So I've said who I am, I've said what I do, I'm a scientist by day, I'm a musician, singer-songwriter, by night and at the weekend. I do acoustic covers, but I do my own acoustic and soulful originals as well. I've said the days I usually stream on, and again I've linked to my Discord or social media channels. My next panel is about rules. So a few different Twitch streamers have made videos about this. It's worth making one about rules, because otherwise people can come in, say whatever they want, even if it's really offensive and horrible to you and you've not really got a leg to stand on in that obviously it's horrible but you've not kind of explicitly said to them you'll be banned, this is not allowed in my chat, that sort of thing. Generally I say keep it light, bring across positive vibes for the streams, any requests please use the bot because if they just write in the chat requests and I've got a lot of people in the chat I might miss it whereas it gets put on the stream for me if it's the bot. And then I've said general housekeeping, obviously no abusers. I also say don't spam your Twitch or socials. It's very important, even if you're a small channel, that it's great to try and love yourself, get your channel out there, but it's not good to go to someone's channel and say, hi, I'm a music streamer, come check me out. That's not very respectful. If someone was doing it in your channel, you'd be a bit annoyed about it. Don't get me wrong, if they say to you, who are you, do you make music, whatever, it's, it's very fair game then for you to come back and say, yeah, I do, I, I make music, you know, I'd love it if anyone fancies this kind of music, wants to come check it out. That's fine if they've asked first, but most streamers will have on there about don't spam, don't self-promote without, you know, prompt sort of thing. That's quite important to stick to. Then I've said don't reveal personal information. Obviously, if you talk about your bank details, your address, whatever, you're kind of giving that information out to whoever and that goes for your viewers as well, so you don't really want that to be a risk of like privacy and everything. So I've then put links in. I've got links to my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and Spotify. And so you just go on edit panels, and then you'll see there's this little image links to on the panel. You just put your link for your social media channel in, and then basically the image becomes a hyperlink and will take them straight to your social media channels. It's a really nice way of kind of bridging the communities between Twitch and social media. So as you can see, one of the hyperlinks I have also goes to a donation page where anyone on the page, if they wanted to, can send me a bit of a donation on PayPal. Now what I'd say for this is, again, don't really force it. I've put it on there and said, in case anyone wants to donate, I'd be very happy to receive. But I've also put some text below saying, obviously just coming along to the stream and chatting and everything is is perfect you know i've then got a music gear link and you can see i've actually put hyperlinks into this 
So if you wanted to, when you're kind of set up on the system, you can put in what specific things you use. So I talk about the guitar I use, the strings I use, the microphones, I talk about kind of the mixer I use, the camera I use. If you wanted to, you can put links in. You can see some of these are purple and actually they link to an affiliate link. So basically what it means is they'll take you to usually Amazon and then where you can buy the thing that I'm saying in the text and they've gone through a little link I've set up on Amazon, like an affiliate link, so if they use that and actually buy the thing, I'll get a little bit of commission from it. My final panel is on a contact one, so I've put a little contact on here just in case anyone uses Twitch and they want to reach out to me about doing a collab, let's say, or they want to kind of reach out to me and ask some specific information about, you know, my stream or me as a musician or whatever. So that's all the panels I have and just a kind of flavour of what sort of panels you can set up. So next let's talk about your schedule. So I'm assuming if you're watching this then you might want to get to Twitch Affiliate and beyond. So to do that you've got to kind of satisfy four different criteria. So one of them is reaching 50 followers on the platform. That you should do, it's not too difficult, you'll get there. Uh, the other one is streaming for eight hours and uh, within a month. Uh, the other one is streaming seven different days within a month and the final one is reaching an average of three viewers across all of your streams. So for me the hardest one was three viewers because that doesn't sound like a lot but you've got to think if you're streaming two hours at once people have got to watch for two hours and you've got to have an average of at least three people watching for two hours. So consistently getting that or at least the average of that can be quite tricky. So really getting a consistent schedule where you're streaming twice a week if possible would help you towards that goal. So I'm not gonna go into it right now, but there is a link below from Twitch about this. You might have a question about why should I want to become an affiliate? And it depends, you might not want to, you might just wanna kind of live stream for fun of it, but if you wanna kind of get monetized and have various other sort of benefits on the platform, you get them from there and it's all available on that link. So if you wanna read up about that, there is a link below about it. Obviously a lot of people that use Twitch are in the US, I'm in the UK, so there's time differences. You've got to think about that sort of thing as well, but pick when it is best suitable for you yourself to stream. You then go on your schedule on here and you can change it. So you can see I've got Thursdays and Sundays every week uh, is on here when I've got specific times when I stream. You can also go in here and edit so you can say exactly what time, whether it's going to happen every week or not every week. You can say what the stream's about, the kind of genre of it. So I'm not going to go into it too much, I just thought it was worth highlighting that in the creator dashboard there's a moderation tab as well. So in here you can set up some automated kind of rules which will do a little bit of moderation for you. So if you don't want people to use really foul language, you can put in a list of words that can be automatically blocked sort of thing. You can change it so that people can only comment on your streams if they've got a linked email or phone number to their account, which means they're an actual person, they're not a bot. All that sort of stuff, um, you can edit it and it just means that Twitch will do that for you when you're streaming live. Alright, so let's say you've come back to this video, you've been streaming for a little while once you've seen the other two videos, you know what you're doing and you think, okay, I want to make a channel trailer. This is the last thing I'm going to talk about. So you can upload it yourself to Twitch if you go into your video producer tab, which is in the little content drop down. It's got to be up to a minute and basically it's got to outline who you are, what you do and give some highlights. So I'm going to show you mine in a minute, I'll cut to it on here. But basically this is worth doing because it gives people a feel for who you are and the type of stuff you make and they can see that when you're not actually streaming live. So when you're not there to kind of sell yourself and your music, your trailer can sort of do that for you and hopefully people will be interested, maybe follow you and then they can come and join a future stream. So here is my channel trailer from Twitch. Hello, thanks for checking out my Twitch channel. I'm Blake Baker. I'm an acoustic musician with a soulful voice and I do my own stuff and I do covers as well. Happy to take requests when I'm going live and if I don't know the song, I'm happy to learn them as well. We do music streams and we do a few other streams as well, chatting and quizzes, that sort of stuff. While I'm not live at the moment, which is why you're seeing this, I do go live every week, either Thursdays or Saturdays and Sundays and I put it all on my Discord or social media channels, all the links you need are down below. And here's a couple of highlights from previous streams. Everything is well. We got all we need right here. Oh, the cat's coming in, you guys behind me. <laughs> well, hopefully you sang eight gays, eight gays, sorry, eight geese. <laughs> 
Backing over the northeast wind And I'm sailing home summer breeze Hopefully I'll catch you in the chat soon. Cheers. Thanks very much for watching. That was part one of how to stream on Twitch as a musician. The other parts are coming very soon. If you like this, please let me know. And if you like music related content in general, then I do a new YouTube video very often. And I not only cover things like guides like this, I do vlogs, I do my own original music, I do cover songs, I do guitar lessons, I do loads and loads of different stuff. So to get notified every time I make a new video, please consider clicking the subscribe and notification bell buttons. You'll get updated every time I upload a new video. Cheers, take care of yourself, and I'll catch you next time. Make some pancakes